Hey everybody, back out in the garage working on another uh, Suzuki LT230S uh, project, uh, the Quad Sport, um, the uh, 1980s style. Um, that's my 1985 Quad Sport. Uh, this, I believe, was out of an 87, just from uh, a parts uh, quad that I got. Uh, but I'm actually rebuilding it for my brother. Uh, he picked up an 87 Quad Sport in the uh, where Master Sonar was messed up on it. He tried to rebuild it, but uh, there were some problems. It looked like somebody was in there once before and tried to do it and uh, kind of messed it up. So this is a spare I have. I'm going to try to rebuild it for him, but I want to make a, a video of um, how to do that. And be honest with you, uh, this is my first time, so I'm kind of learning as I'm going, but I've already learned a few things that hopefully can help somebody else. Um, so basically when you start off with this, um, this push rod right here is in there. And there's a rubber boot that's around here. I had to tear that to, to get it off. There's pretty much no way you're going to get it out and save it. But when you buy the rebuild kits, they come with it anyway. Uh, my brother has that. I don't have it here with me or I'd show you. But anyhow, you get that rubber boot off. And uh, once you got that off um, is when uh, your problems will begin. And uh, this looks real easy right now because I just pulled it out. But it's actually held in there by this uh, snap ring right here. And uh, unless yours has been rebuilt before, you know, these quads are like 30 years old now, um, it's going to be frozen in there. If it's not, you consider yourself lucky. Uh, this one I actually filled up with uh, PB Blaster, and I let it sit for a couple days, sprayed it again, let it sit for a couple days. Um, you, you'll notice on a lot of my videos I make, I believe in this stuff, and it, it does make a world of difference. you got to be a little patient with it. Some people think you just spray it on and five minutes later you're in business. Um, you know, sometimes you get lucky and that's the case, but not with this old stuff usually. So anyway, um, one of the biggest problems you're going to run into is this snap ring. And when this was in there, basically the, the one that my brother was trying to rebuild, you could tell somebody was in there before and they had tried so hard to get this snap ring out that they, they messed up the holes on the end. There was pretty much no holes left. Um, so there really wasn't anything to get the pliers on to, to compress this spring and, and get it out of there. And if you can't get this out of there, you're you're done. Um, that's my snap ring pliers. I actually just picked these up from Home Depot. I didn't want to spend the 30 bucks on them. They had a pair for nine bucks, but it was only one size, and uh, it wouldn't have fit this this anyway. So I'm glad I didn't get them. This kit came with um, different heads that you can put in, a couple new set screws. Uh, the only downfall is uh, you obviously have to put this stuff back in a pack and keep track of it or won't be there next time you need it. But um, I put the proper size in, and uh, still I went in here. And, of course, you got to remember this rod's going to be in here like this while you're trying to... This round part is pressed in, though, so that won't be in your way. But you're trying to, to get at that snap ring that's in here. This is kind of in your way. And um, even though I got the pliers on there and I, uh, I got the snap ring pliers nice and good, squeezed it kept popping off popping off and truthfully i was getting afraid that i was rounding them off so much i would never get it out um but uh didn't give up and what i found what to do and uh probably the best thing before you even try to get it out i took this real small flathead micro screwdriver i mean anything with a point would work but um i ended up getting into these holes while it was in there and, and just kept twisting back and forth and pulling the gunk out. You wouldn't believe how much stuff was impacted in there. Even though it felt like I was getting the pliers in there good, I, I was just barely biting the, the top end of it. And, um, you know, when you're trying to squeeze that, it just, just pops right out. So I got it cleaned out really, really good. Um, got the pliers in there and uh, took a couple attempts, but eventually one side started to compress. The other side was still seized in there pretty good, but you can see this is bent. You know, this is no good now, but that's fine. Um, they're a dime a dozen. But I got it to bend up, and then I got a screwdriver up underneath it, got it bent up, then I was able to grab it with a pair of pliers, and I was able to get this out. Now, once that's out, now you got your push rod in there like that. And, uh, you know, again, I took this screwdriver, cleaned up around it, wiggled it a little bit, and then I took this out of the vise, put the rod into the vise, and then just took the, the body and kind of wiggled it, and then this came out eventually um, once the push rod was out uh, this is what you got now um, and if you, you're doing this and you have your rebuild kit you'll you'll see what's included inside of here I haven't seen it yet because I haven't gotten it out um, is like an aluminum 
spiral, uh, I don't know what to call it, a valve, I guess. And there's a spring underneath that. But all this right here, that's still in there. And right, focus. You know, it's solid metal, and I'm trying to get up underneath there and try to pry it out. And, you know, you don't want to ruin the, the body. This is aluminum. If you mess this up, then you're, you're, you know, you're back to square one getting a new one. But um, where I'm at now, and the reason I started taking a video is I think the reason I can't get it out, I think, honestly, I, I think is is because there's gunk built up around this. Um, and this centerpiece is spring-loaded, which if this will focus, I'll show you. Okay, I think that focused. See how that's pushing down? So that's that spring in there I was talking about. Now, when I push it down and it comes back up, it's still, you know, it's not coming up. But m what I'm thinking, I think I got it to move a little bit. I'm going to keep compressing this and letting it come up. And I think it's eventually going to loosen and this thing's eventually going to come out. I'm hoping. So I'm going to work on that and then uh, I'll be back to continue the video. Okay, just like I suspected, um, I went off video for a little bit. Uh, it didn't take long. It literally took about 20 seconds. Uh, you can see that centerpiece now I was talking about is actually raised. It actually broke through the gunk, and it's sticking up about a quarter inch or so now. Um, so what I'm going to do now is grab a pair of needle-nose pliers and uh, see what happens when, uh, when I grab a hold of that. It should pull out now. All right. Remember, there's a spring in here, so it's going to want to pop out. Okay, there we go. There's that aluminum piece, and there's that spring. So, I'm glad that I figured that out, because I was actually resulting to uh, drilling a hole through the top of this and try to get something in there so I could pull it out, um, but that didn't become necessary. And, and again, this whole piece right here um, comes with the new kit, so even if I had to drill a hole in it, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but... You don't have to. It was just uh, it was just that gunk uh, hanging up. So the rest of this uh, should just be the the valve body. Um, I'm gonna get in there with a flashlight and see if there's any O-rings or anything else down there I'm missing. Doesn't appear to be. You know you can't really see that. There we go. Um, but basically now I'm gonna clean this thing up, clean the inside really good and the body out here I'm actually going to wire brush and get all this old black paint off and clean it up with some mineral spirits. I'm a bug so I'll probably end up painting it black again. Um, then I'll get the rebuild kit from my brother and uh, rebuild it and I'll probably uh, make a you know second video on, on the actual rebuilding process and uh, putting all this stuff back together. Um, hope it helps.